Joined now for a look at the Alliance, uh, an expert in the history of the US-Australia Alliance at the US Studies Centre, James Curran, joining us from Sydney. Thanks for your time. How does the announcement uh, and this visit and, and the announcement of the increased US military presence, how does that fit in the history of the Australian-US Alliance? Well, I think, David, to, undoubtedly this is the most significant presidential visit since the end of the Cold War. Um, that announcement is significant. Um, I think there's a generation of Australian politicians and policy makers who dreamed of having this sort of arrangement uh, where the uh, defence of Australia, if you like, was integrated into the uh, US global defence system. Um, and even though the numbers are small, uh, as you've been saying this morning, it is significant, the numbers will rise. Um, but it's certainly an indication, I think, of where the United States sees Australia fitting into its more agile, uh, geographically dispersed footprint uh, throughout the region. What do you think, uh, James Curran, it's Kieran Gilbert here, uh, about this idea of the pivot point in foreign policy that we're anticipating a bit more information on in this address just after 10am uh, by President Obama? Sure, look, it'll be a major speech, Kieran, there's no doubt about that. The White House made this very clear when they gave briefings before the President came. They talked about this being the maturation, if you like, of Obama's Asia policy. Now, I think it would be unfair to say that George W. Bush completely dropped the ball on Asia. There's no doubt his focus was uh, enormously um, uh, focused on the Middle East and Iraq and Afghanistan. But he did uh, handle the China relationship quite well after some early hiccups. Uh, and of course there was that in, uh, incredibly important civilian nuclear deal that was signed with India in 2005. But as the United States uh, draws down more from Iraq and Afghanistan, it's very clear that Obama is trying to shift the gaze of America much more towards Asia. Effectively the argument here will be, uh, if you want the United States to remain a world leader, you are going to have to acknowledge that it needs to play a major role in Asia, not only in terms of jobs uh, and exports for the US market, uh, but in terms of having a strategic presence there as well and maintaining uh, its strategic presence. So democratic development, I think, will be a big theme of the speech. The US allies in the region where Obama's been before, India, Indonesia, Korea, Japan and Australia, these play an important part in how the US sees the region and how it sees its future. All right, James Curran from the US Studies Centre, appreciate your input this morning. Thank you for that.